Oh, back now with the doctors in Sunday House Call. Preventing cancer. Did you know that new research shows that exercise could play a bigger role than was previously thought in battling it? Here's a cancer patient and her doctor. Exercise just made sense to me as far as something that you'd want help knowing what to do. You'd want help knowing how to care for your body in multiple ways, not just through oncology. Where we want to go in the future is, is really can we harness um, the effects of exercise as another weapon against cancer? Uh, but also, can we use exercise as a weapon in combination with standard cancer treatment to help those cancer treatments maybe even work more effectively than they would do by themselves? So, Dr. Samadhi, how important is exercise in treating or maybe preventing cancer? Is that possible? You know, this segment obviously was about someone who already has cancer, and there is a lot of study and clinical trial that tells you that by doing exercise, you can reduce the risk of recurrence, meaning that you can slow down the cancer. Stage four breast cancer that was supposed to die in six months to a year can go on for three, four years. So, there's something about exercise and changes the inflammatory cells that can delay and, and stop these cancer cells from growing. Growth. But I want to go back to a lot of people who don't have cancer. That's millions of Americans out there. How do you stop these cells from becoming cancerous? And I want you to remember something called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is somebody who is obese, has high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. That's majority of us, unfortunately, in this country. What happens in those patients? These uh, fat around the cell and your liver cells are secreting a lot of inflammatory cells, IL-6, TNF. Those inflammatory cells, Eric, end up like, changing the regular cell into a cancer cell. And that's why every day on this program we keep saying Exercise. lose weight, yeah. watch your cholesterol, etc. Now the reverse is also true. If you have cancer, you can, there are many studies including my studies that shows by doing exercise, you can reduce the risk of recurrence. You slow down the process. One thing I want wow. people to know is that exercise is not a replacement for chemotherapy or for your mm -hmm. surgery. Don't let any of these alternative people say that with yoga, you're going to cure breast cancer. That's nonsense. But Dr. Singh, what, what do you say to your patients? I mean, do you, you obviously encourage exercise to, to lose weight and that belly fat, but how about dealing with cancer? You know, I always looked at it from the point of view of hope, that people that had cancer, if they could get on a treadmill, if they could exercise, it would change the hormones in their brain, they would feel better. But after interviewing Dr. Lee Jones at, the, at Sloan Kettering Memorial, that's who you saw <coughs> right before Dr. Samadhi came on. Dr. Lee Jones is doing a long-term study to see if exercise can be used in breast cancer that is spread all over the body or ovarian cancer that is spread all over the body. And why is he doing it this way, testing people over time? Because previously, we have what's called observational research, which shows that 20 to 30 percent of people that had breast cancer that spread said if they exercised, guess what? Their chances of recurrence or dying was a lot less. But asking people how much they exercise and putting them on a treadmill and actually exercising them are two different things. Now, what seems to happen here, Eric, is that it improves your immune system if you exercise. That helps fight cancer. Decreases your insulin levels. Guess what insulin does? It causes tumors to grow. So if you decrease your insulin and insulin you improve better. your immune wow. function, you're going to have a situation where people are going to do better and their cancer. Now, again, he says very carefully, Dr. Jones, this is not instead of standard treatment. This is not replacing chemo. It is not replacing immunological treatment. Okay. It's in addition yeah. to it. So get on the bike and it's then also, be on the bike. We've it's got, very, it's go. important for people to individualize that care because if you have bone metastases and you have lesion in your bone, that can increase the risk of fracture. So talk to your okay. doctor before you do All this right, exercise. Get on, get on that bike and exercise. Great <laughs> advice. Thank you.